Hello friends, welcome to our channel automation community. Today we are going to see real time application of PLC and HMI for metal sheet punching and cutting machines. You can see over here this machine is working fully automatically. So we are going to decode its logic and how it's working automatically. So before moving ahead, we need to understand the main components used in our project. So let us understand the main components. First of all, you can see this is the complete machine assembly. So I will divide this machine assembly in two parts. In this box, there are the two things or two process taking place, punching and cutting. How this is happening? You can see this big cylinder. This is the oil cylinder or we can say hydraulic cylinder. This is the cutting cylinder. And below this strip, there is punching cylinder. When the cylinder advances and retracts, it is doing punching and cutting process. That is happening within this box. I will show you later. After that, on the left side, observe this plate. This plate has two main things. First, it has stepper or servo motor and here you can see one cylinder this is actually a gripper which will hold our plate or material which is to be processed for example if we energize this cylinder it will hold tightly our metal strip and if we release this it will release our plate that you will better understand later now this is the proximity sensor to sense final position of this servo and gripper assembly. You can see, uh, first of all, how this works. This gripper will hold our material which is to be processed. And this servo motor moves in forward direction that is towards this machine. So it is actually feeding the raw material into this machine. So as you can see over here, it has reached to its final position, means now it cannot move after this. So, this proximity sensor is used to sense the final position of this gripper and servo assembly. Now, observe here, these are the two proximity sensors. These two sensors senses the final and initial positions of cutting cylinder when it advances and reaches up to this distance it stops and then comes back to original position and when it comes back and it moves up to this distance this proximity will stop it from moving further back so these are the two proximity sensors for cutting cylinder similarly observe over here these are the two proximity sensors for punching cylinder, below this there is the punching cylinder which will punch the holes in the metal strip. Now observe this, this is the metal sheet or plate which is to be processed. Now this is the another important thing which is the hydraulic machine. It consists of oil tank, oil pump, here there are four solenoid valves. Here there are oil pipes. As you can see, there are the two cylinders. So two pipes for each cylinder. Now we will see it's working in different steps. So first of all, as I have told you, this gripper assembly has reached to its final position. So what logic will occur that I have written over here? I am playing this. Uh, the actual video is in very fast, so we have to observe in the slow motion. As soon as the proximity sensor become on, first of all gripper will release and then motor will run in reverse direction. Okay, so this is the first step. This is actually I have shown you in the slow motion. Let us see what is the actual speed of this process from this view. You will better able to see how gripper releases the flat and how fast 
the motor reverses because it has reached to end position. So now it goes to home position and again cylinder will become energized and it will hold tightly this plate. You can see this plate and then motor will run forward so that this plate can be feeded to our punching and cutting machine. So that process I will show you what will happen. Now gripper will energize so it will hold tightly this plate and our stepper or servo motor will move in forward direction that means towards our punching and cutting machine but in steps that means it will start and then stop. So observe carefully it is starting and then stop, starting and then stop, starting and then stop. This is how it moves forward. Now we will see what is happening under punching and cutting machine. So observe carefully as the motor moves forward and motor stops. So as the motor stops, there is one punch, okay, and this proximity will increase counter. There is another punch, there is third punch, and this is the fourth punch. After fourth punch, observe this, this cutting cylinder has operated. It has moved downwards and it has retract back to original position. This is very slow motion, okay. Again, let me explain you. When there is one punch, then motor moves slightly and stops. When it stops, it punches again. Again, motor moves slightly. So here you can see this process repeat for the four times. And when the counter value reaches to the four, cutting cylinder is operated. So now let us see this process from different angle. Motor operated, punching operated. Again, punching operated. Now, motor operated one step and punching operated. Again, motor started one step, punching operated, and finally the cutting wall or cutting cylinder operated. So, this is also a very slow motion to better understand the logic. So, this whole process is operated through this HMI screen, and this complete process is controlled through this PLC system that you can see over here. So let us understand what are the equipments used in this project and what are the its functions. So first of all, you can see this is the SMPS which will obviously the power supply for our PLC. Now here it can be inputs. So inputs of PLC will be proximity sensors, the start stop button you see on the HMI screen and its outputs will be connected to this relay and through this relay its outputs will be the solenoid valves, servo drive. So this or servo drive will control the movement of motor. Here this is the main contactor. The purpose is for example if the utility supply is gone and then it comes back. We don't want the machine to be started automatically. It may cause some damage to property or equipment or a human. So in every machine there is contactor for manually on off when the supply is gone. These are the protection MCBs. This can be the heat sink for VFD or braking register for our motor. And uh, below there is the terminal board for our input and outputs. And this whole system is made using beacon PLC and HMI products. Besides that, through the HMI screen, we can select the number of punches in the plate, distance between the punches in the plate, and the length of overall plate that we want to produce. So let us again see the complete machine working in actual speed. So this is the actual application. This is how this plate is processed. This is the actual speed. You can see punching and cutting cylinder. This is motor moving in steps. 
here you can see this is our actual product there are punches and cuttings so friends reason to make such videos is to help you building the logic for real time applications so that you can create your own programs for such applications if you want to learn more content like this stay tuned to our youtube channel instrumentation tools.com